Hello, my name is Michael Kane, and welcome to Vintage Key Studio. Today, I am going to be showing you this incredibly rare and quite magnificent organ stroke synthesizer called the Reha, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Reha Orchestra. This organ was given to us by uh, a local conservative club and they said that they had it in the corner for 40 years and it had never been used once, uh, which um, I, I think it's about, sounds about right. Most times you see organs in these old places and nobody knows what they are or how to use them. So this was just sort of advertised on the local, the gum tree thing. Um, and a friend of mine, Dave, um, who I used to be in a band with, alerted me to it. So thanks very much, Dave. Thanks very much, Dave. It's very, very heavy indeed, and I had to get um, a f another friend of mine called Steve to um, help me move it. Um, so thanks very much, Steve. As you can see, it's a triple manual organ, or on the face of it, it looks like it is, but it's actually, this is the organ part, and this on the top is a synthesizer. As you can see in this wonderful font, which I know this font from the... Um, Mark Bolan poetry book that he, he brought out in 1969 called The Warlock of Love, and you can see a photo of that now. First prize to anyone who can tell me what this font is, but it reminds me of a, a, like, a like a late 60s cookery book font as well, which my mum used to have lots of those. So it came to me and it was, it was a bit crackly, had a bit of a rustly crackly noise on, and I thought, well, it's probably the power supply needs just sort of overhauling just some new electrolytic capa <coughs> capacitors in it, filter capacitors. So I did all that and it still crackled. I thought, God, so I, I, I managed to find the manual from a man in Italy. So there's one for the organ, one for the ARC, which is the rhythm bit, and also the, the, other bit in there? the harp, which I don't even know what that does yet and the synthesizer section. Uh, and by going through this, uh, I've read this cover to cover, but the problem is this, there's little bits of it missing. So it's been a bit of a tricky thing trying to fault find. I think I'd better play a bit rather than go on about how difficult it's been to fix. So, to start with, it's got a draw bar organ thing called the sine wave sound. Uh, which is very good. Um, so, and what I forgot to say is that this thing has got a, um, a, two, a two speed Leslie built into it as well, which is sort of down here. And originally it had two amplifiers, two power amplifiers, one for the main. Uh, output which is this one and one for the Leslie output which is this one um, for whatever reason I can't quite fathom it out one of the amplifiers even though I've replaced every part of it and rewired the whole thing and put a new loom in there there's still something not quite right and I think it's because when you the original Leslie selector had these funny buttons on it if you see if I press this these lights uh, the lamps light up and it's sending the audio through some kind of switching thing, but I can't find where it is and it's not in the book. Um, so, so basically what I've done is I've just, I'm just using one amplifier, which is now switching between the, the, the stationary speaker and the, Les, the Leslie built in. And that only took me a day to work that out. I've now got it on the Leslie setting um, and it's got obviously the two speed Leslie. So here is the Leslie speeding up. And slowing down. But anyway, I'll just give you a bit of a demonstration of the, of the, uh, the, the sort of drawbar organs section of it. Um, I'm going to put the, it's got a reverb spring. 
In fact, it's got two reverb springs inside this. It's got one for the um, the organ, and there's another one for the synthesizer, which I'll get to in a minute. special shoes on today. through the Leslie speaker but without it it's so you've got um, sub, a sub bass diapason bass guitar and bass and also there's a sustain option as well That's good. I should say, I forgot to say, um, this thing dates from 1978, 79, and Rehar, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it was made in Holland, designed in Holland uh, by a company who made, they did make some other sort of just normal, sort of two double manual organs that had a couple of, they didn't have all these, this elaborate stuff on it. But as I say, before, a couple of weeks ago, I'd never ever heard of a Rehar organ. I didn't know they existed. So uh, this is like a, it, when you look at it, it looks like something that, that, that shouldn't really exist, but it does. So we've got the organ part there. And then there's a, a set of um, presets up here. We start off with, we've got the, this uh, cello. Let's turn the Leslie off. Sax, trumpet, violin, and then a flute. Fagot. Dyer pays on. Flute eight foot, horn eight foot. Salicet, salicet, I don't know how to say that. And then we've got the quint. This is that. And then we've got flute, flute four foot, string four foot. Then these ones, which are kind of like, um, what do you call them? Overtones over the top. So you've got quint and cymbal, or whatever. <laughs> One thing this does seem to suffer from is um, distortion because you've obviously got loads and loads of things going on. If you put it all on at once, it does seem to overload everything. And I tested this through the, just the audio output before it gets to the amp and it does it in the audio output as well. So there might be a bit of a problem somewhere, but um, after my three days of tinkering around, um, it works a lot better than it did before. But there's hopefully gonna be a part two because there's two sections of this so I can't get to work and I've got no idea what they do. One of them is this one here called the harp. I can't work out what, what that really is. I don't know if it's something to do with the rhythm box or, and uh, this solo chord, which I'm not really fussed about, but it's probably something to do with that as well. Oh, and also this um, percussion section, which the percussion means the, uh, if I, let's do that. So you can hear the percussion is like, like on a, on a Hammond organ, 
Ähm. But, um, that only seems to come on now and then when it likes it. There's also a repeat function as well, but there's like something uh, not quite right there. Possibly a, a transistor is uh, playing up, uh, but I haven't found that bit yet. So that's all the, the presets there. It's got the own volume control here. Uh, we say we don't know what that bit does yet. Um, and it's also got this poly voice. So, um, doesn't seem to make sense to me, but yeah, poly voice seems to be something to do with these. We've got that, that written there. So that's, that's these voices here, these cello, sax, trumpet, violin. Um, Like it's like an extra set of presets that you can adjust the volume of in tandem with these ones. So there's those ones there. Bit of a dusty thing. sure why they've bothered to put a separate switch on it but anyway so that's that then you've got a similar arrangement um, with the lo lower manual um, so we've got um, something there. flute French horn so French horn diapason flute four foot string four foot flute two foot string two foot and then the poly voice horn Accordion. And the string. And then similarly, uh, oh maybe it's like... Some of the switches seem to be switching things off when you switch them on and the other way around, so there must be a reason for that, but... Anyway, these voices add a quite nice tone to the draw bars. There's a sustain function as well, which also sustains notes that you don't want it to. There's a D stuck there. Yeah. Something definitely askew with this up here I need to sort out. Is uh, there's as far as I can see, I can't not been able to find anything online, but I can't find a user manual for it. That'd be quite useful. So if anyone happens to have one, let me know. I'd love, I'd love to have a look at it. I'd like to know what the harp's supposed to do and um, why it's got a, a solo chord thing when it can't. They could have just put it on the, the drum box. <laughs>
these slippers shoes on. I can't play the organ pedals with them. Right, okay. Very quickly, also, there's some, some other preset sounds underneath here. Um, there's the... Uh, and the, and the, this is another little thing that's not quite right with this. Uh, whenever you press one of these buttons and then you try and press cancel, it won't cancel, so it gets stuck on, so you have to switch it off and switch it back on again at the moment. But anyway, I'll just de demonstrate the noises it makes. So it's got this mouth organ thing. Hang on. Um. Added to that a Hawaiian guitar. And then a xylophone. <laughs> guitars harpsichord and it's all gone horribly wrong Sometimes it does random things differently every time you switch it on. So sometimes the percussion circuit comes on and flashes on and off. Sometimes a note gets stuck somewhere and it won't switch off. When I show you in a minute the, the circuitry inside this thing, you won't blame me for not delving straight in and seeing if I can find the problem. So that's basically the um, the organy part of it. There are some other presets as well there, and also that's the, the button to just use the. I think it will. The idea is that if you cancel those sounds when they work properly, it cancels everything, um, and then you can just press that, and then it will go back to the draw bars. I think not, not too sure. And these are f f um, four different presets of this draw bar sine wave sound thing. Yeah, this, this circuitry here. I'll just explain over here. We've got um, this, so the, the Leslie selector. So that's the, the choir, sorry, the chorus or chorus or tremolo. Um, we've got the on off switch there. And we've also got the lamp switch. Now, the lamp in this thing, there used to be a strip light in here. Uh, and I took it out to have a look at it the other day and found out that someone has stolen it all. So it's not not there now anymore. So the lamp doesn't work. Uh, I might put one in one day. Still stuck. Now, here comes the fun bit. This thing has got a synthesizer built in, as I said before. And now you'd probably think it was just like a naff sort of wah-wah sound or something like that. And that's what I probably I thought it probably was when I first heard about it. And when I went to pick this up from the place I got it from, I switched the organ on and the first sound it made 
was was this. And I thought, hey, wait a minute, that's that's not right, is it? Well, I thought it was broken, and then it made a sort of a, this sort of sound. Uh, and then I realised after playing around with it that the, the uh, it's got all these different controls down here, um, and it was the glide or the it's like a glissando, but a glide switch uh, or the glide fader, what you want to call it, control was right at the very bottom of it, so it was doing the extreme glide between notes. So. So if I turn that off now, so that's now working normally there. You can have um, either, um, there's a sort of a, a trumpet sound. There's a, there's a um, vibrato speed and depth. I'll get to these controls in a minute. Um, or we have a trombone. Sousaphone. This is mono monophonic this keyboard by the way. This also I'll put the uh, reverb on there as well. Clarinet. Pan flute. The electric guitar. Pretty good electric guitar sound for 1978. But thinking about it, the Lowry TLOR had a really good um, bass guitar sound, and that was like 1969. Um, and then you've got the fuzz guitar. Um, you can glide with these as well. So that's pretty good. But the really amazing thing is now, if I put it on back on flute, um, you can now, if you switch the actual, this section of the synth synthesizer on, you can you've got complete control over the all pretty much all the sound and it's as good as something you might find on a moog or, or something like that so here we go so uh, if i turn off i'll cancel the preset synthesizer we just listen to this part of the synthesizer you've got a resonant um, filter and you've got this really good um duty is it duty cycle whatever it is it's it it adds kind of a... The vibrato controls here also controls the chorus uh, effect so that's just the vibrato there you've got different
different registrations, so that's on the 64 foot. And 32. 16. And then 18. Um, you've got different waveforms here, or like filters. other pre presets synthesizer <laughs> sound which will is controlled by this decay thing it will just do a noise like a white noise you press the noise button Um, station to station with that. Or you could do um, the nickels. Where are you from? Anyway, that's enough of that noise. Uh, let's turn the chorus off. There's literally millions of millions of controls on this, and it, it, it these all vary the whole thing. So it's too much really to go through um, and, and show you exactly what's going on. seems to be controlled not by not by the speed but the decay um, slider couple the synth keyboard to the upper manual. So here we go.
Oh, you can play the Moomins on this. Hang on. There's still that note stuck stuck on. I'll probably be alright in the morning. Probably just got a bit tired like I am. You've got a sustain function. attack. Oh, that's nice. for now is starting to hurt. I need to do a few more bits of tinkering with it to stop. Oh, that note stopped. Ah. It was an E flat got stuck and I, I think I've managed to shake it off there by playing all that horrible stuff. But as you can hear it's an incredibly versatile sounding thing and it can do pretty much any kind of crazy sound that you want it to and it's creating new sounds, and I've never heard, um, I've never heard some of the sounds it's it's producing. Certainly from a kind of a what's basically a home organ or souped-up home home organ. And I can't believe that there's only, as far as I know, there's a guy called is it Brian Sharp. There's a guy called Brian Sharp who made an album or two using one of these, um, and it's all I think he did a lot of classical type stuff on it, and he's using all the. Uh, you know all the, the, the classical sounds. He uses the beat the beatbox. I would I will demonstrate the beatbox in the next video in the part two of this because I uh, it's, it's too much. So yeah, this Brian check it out. It's on YouTube somewhere. Brian Sharp and the Rehab um, Orchestra, and he plays really well. But he he doesn't do any of the wacky kind of prog rocky Rick Wakeman stuff. Um, in fact, I should have worn a cape. <laughs> So as I said, I've, I've wired it up so that the synthesizer goes through the Leslie now, but when it's not going through the Leslie, it sounds like this. but different but I prefer it with the Leslie on personally. Uh, last little things oh there is a there's a pitch a global pitch shift here just for sort of tuning um, so you can tune the whole Let's uncouple that. It's very handy. That will be controlling the 
the master oscillator which is in the back also in the next video I'll show you some of the insides of this thing uh, and it will blow your mind um, and there's also obviously a pitch um, Just that 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 will allow you to, to tune the the synthesizer section as well. get such out of tuneness on it. Right, well I'm off now, but I'll be back again at some point with the part two on this one. Uh, I'll try and, uh, at least if I can't get anything else to work on it, I'll at least do one with the rhythm thing and then I'll do, do a few more sing along and organ with drums type thing. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video of the exhausting Reha Reha synthesizer from Holland from 1978. That uh, I wish I'd heard about this years ago, and I would have I would have bought millions of them if I could find them. I hope this has inspired you to um, look in all the shops all around the world and see if you can find one of these, because uh, they um, they should be uh, more well known than they are. And uh, this is, at the moment, is my very favouritest organ in the whole world. And, uh, and I can tell that it loves me because it's stopped making that E-flat noise that it was making earlier on. Right. Thank you very much indeed for watching this evening and today and this morning. Please press the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already done it um, and then you'll get the, the next instalment of this and some other stuff as well. I went out today and I was going to get my car washed uh, oh. and the, there was a big queue on the car wash and I thought, so I went down the road and there was a charity shop open. I went to the charity shop and they had a, a, a Yamaha Electone organ, very similar to the one that the specials Jerry Dammers used um, on the second album, More Specials, and also on Ghost Town as well. And it was only £50, so I thought, well, I'll get that. Not thinking that I've already got four million organs in here and there's not much room. So it's currently stuck in the back of my car, but we'll be in here later. And then there's a there's a possible other one as well coming in. But anyway, we've got lots of, uh, lots of things to talk about with this one, and uh, I've probably got a bit more work to do in it. But there you have it. All the usual links are down below, and... Uh, Thank you very much indeed. I'll see you next time. Very difficult. There's just so much to talk about. <laughs>